Hello, and we're here with Anatole, who is going to play the first movement of the Mozart A Major Violin Concerto Number no. Five. So, go ahead.
the cadenza? Uh, I wrote it by myself. You wrote it by yourself. Um, good. I like the idea very much. Um, what is the beginning of the cadenza? I wasn't sure. Um, uh, yes, I missed it right now. But what is it? And then? Why do you need that beginning? Yes, because I thought a bit about um, the beginning of the piece, which is a bit special because it starts like with the accord and then this third thing. And I thought to retake it like in the cadenza to but again. But think like... about where you're coming from. Can you play the last bar before the cadenza? The last bar? Yeah. Okay. Well, then you need You should almost come in ah, while okay. he's Not playing. Good. Yeah, and then, yeah, because if you let her finish, and then you play, da, 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 it sounds like uh, I forgot what I'm supposed to do. Okay, yes, you I know, Because that. you're picking up her chord. Yes, yes, yeah. you're making Now, I have another comment to make about, you know, I mean, we need to say that you've never played this together. Mm -hmm. And so she was supposed to guess mm -hmm. when the end of the disco dancer was and where the end of the first one was. And she didn't guess. Mm -hmm. And frankly, I didn't guess either. Yes. Which mm -hmm. means that there's a flaw in the cadenza. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if we can't tell mm -hmm. that the end is coming, mm -hmm. you know, there's a problem there. So it's mm -hmm. either a problem with the timing or a problem with the actual ending. You know, I don't know which it is because, mm. of course, I'd never heard it before, so I had no idea. Mm -hmm. yes. um, personally, I felt that perhaps the little cadenza at the beginning might be a little too complicated. Too, too complicated, yes. I think it's a little too much. Yes. You know, I like the idea of the Eingang. Yes. You know, I do. Mm -hmm. But how long do we have to wait until you get there? <laughs> it's like, long. wait a minute, another minute, and then another minute, and maybe I don't know how many more minutes, you know. I'm not sure. Okay, yes, yes. You yes. see? Mm -hmm. So it seems to me that perhaps you could either shorten it or make it a little more, you know, mm. consequent. Like mm. there's one and two and three and four rather than I stop now and I stop mm. again and I stop again. and. One of these times I won't stop and I'll actually go, you know? Yes, yes. And, and the same kind of feeling I had at the end of the cadenza, of the real cadenza. Yes. You know, that, yes, you know, there is the trill and we know that this is the rib. How, how long is it? Is it one bar? Is it two bars? It's not clear from where yes. you're coming from. Okay, yes, so I So you just... need to mm -hmm. either rewrite or rethink the performance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, because I never saw the music, I can't say. Yes. I don't know which one. But I thought that, you know, that was one of the things. The other thing I felt was that some of the turns were abrupt. Yes. You know, like, not sure, you know. I think that the, the idea is that you use material from the movement, which you do very well. I, I, I like it. But do you have to use all of it? No, you know, if you think of famous cadenzas that composers wrote mm -hmm. for their own pieces mm -hmm. in violin, mm -hmm. okay? Tchaikovsky, mm -hmm. half of the cadenza doesn't have any material mm -hmm. from the movement. He gets to the material and uses only one theme, mm -hmm. okay? And Mendelssohn doesn't use any material yes. at all, yes. none. Yes. You know, and Sibelius doesn't count because that's the development section, yes, so yes. that doesn't count. You know, but I mean, when the function of the cadenza is to be a cadenza and not a development section, mm. you know, and here we have these examples where, you know, it's minimal. Mm -hmm. You really felt that I have to, every single material has to appear there, and it yes. sounds a little bit perhaps forced. Yes, okay, I understand, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, mm -hmm. I think, you know, and I love the idea that you wrote your mm. own cadenza. I think it's wonderful. But I think that maybe you could go back and look at it and mm -hmm. see, maybe you don't need all of it, yes. you know? Yes, yes. You know, it's like some of it could be eliminated. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's start with the movement itself, okay? Um, 
I like very much how you introduce the first two notes mm -hmm. because they are an upbeat, mm -hmm. you know, and then, yes. you know, it's clear when the, you invite the orchestra to come join you. That's very good. I question how you play your G, you see, because harmonically, that's the first big surprise we get. Yes. You see, and you play it. It takes you half of the note before mm. you say something about it. You know, mm. it seems to me that if you want to say, listen to this, you say it at the beginning, not in the yes. middle. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so can we start from the beginning? Okay, before you go on, um, how many sentences to this introduction? It would be actually one. That's right. Yes. So make sure. Da -di -da -di -da -dum. I'm finished. Da -di -da -di -da -dum. Mm -hmm. no. I'm finished. No. <laughs> I mean, and you keep saying, I'm finished. No, I'm not finished, you know. And eventually it becomes problematic, I would say, right? Yes. Because are you finished or aren't you finished? You see, mm. when you start something, you have to set up the trajectory mm -hmm. of beginning to end at the beginning. Mm. You see? And you're saying, I'm going there. Not, I'm going here, no, no, I'm going here, no, no, I'm going here, you see? Yes. So the, the whole thing is one long sentence. You want to make sure that the trajectory goes all the way there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you can't breathe. On the contrary, you have to breathe. Mm -hmm. But how? Yes. Is it a breath that completely separates or is it a breath that said, and now this? Yes. Right? So mm -hmm. can you do it yes. again? Yes, yes, yes. a sign because otherwise okay. you know this doesn't tell me anything yes. right mm -hmm. I would like to say is that you're trying too hard. Yeah, yeah, okay, exactly, there yeah. is an element of simplicity. I like very much the sound. You have a good sound for this piece. It's pure and it's bell-like, it's good. Um, I don't think, mm. you know, this piece, actually none of the violin concertos, is a grand piece. Mm -hmm. These are lovely pieces, you know, I mean, yes. God forbid, don't think that I'm criticizing Mozart because I'm certainly not. Yes. But it's not one of these grand events, you know. Yes. And so if it's not a grand event, the introduction cannot be very complicated and very grand because it's, a, you know, it's the proportion to the size of the movement is wrong. 
Yes. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, see where the movement starts, you know, but don't complicate things because it's harmonically not complicated. No, it's it's beautiful, but yes. it's not complicated. No. Right. Mm -hmm. So simplicity is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Try it again. I would just go straight. Yeah. 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 I, with that. Oh, you don't need that. Okay. You see, uh... Oh, yes. Okay. You see, I think it's enough. <laughs> it's your cadence. <laughs> 